I know, a typical Filipino thing, yes, yes. Oh, okay, you retire? Huh? You retire now? No, I don't. Army. Yeah. Army. I'm done. Oh, Army? Yeah. Thank you for your service. I was Navy. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for your service. Yes. Yes, but well, that's a long time ago when they had Subic base and everything. Oh, that's yeah. a long, that's a long time. Yeah. In Subic? Yeah. I love that place, man. I was so upset when they took the base out. I know, right? Oh, it was terrible. I thought it was the worst thing they ever did, Aww. you know? Yes. That's yes. But I hear they're going to try to put it back in, though. Oh, that's good. Oh, are they? Oh, that's interesting. I know, but you know, with the Filipino culture, you know, they blame the U.S. military for a lot yeah. of the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. Guys dumb, dumb. having babies <laughs> with girls and not taking care of them, which, and you know, that's a big no-no yeah. for me. You have kids, you take care of them. Yeah. So a lot of, um, you know, your country is very religious. Yeah. Family, very ori religious. family <laughs> oriented, yeah, yes. Family oriented. So a lot of them didn't like what was happening, what the sailors was doing. So, right. But hopefully they can get it back in. Hopefully. You know, hopefully. That'd be nice. You know, yes, yes. All right, my friends, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Nice Young day. lady, you take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Bye miss. All righty. Don't forget, Smoothly 64. Smoothly 64. Yes. All right, bye-bye. This is what I love to do, folks. I love to be out here in the desert walking around, man. It is so peaceful, so quiet out here. You know, once in a while, you run into a few people out here in the trails, you know. That's all right with me, man, because, you know, as everybody know, man, people who know me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a peace-loving dude, man. I'm an easygoing dude. I can have a conversation with anybody of any race, anywhere, at any time, man, you know. Let me show you guys a little bit of background here. So you don't got to keep looking at my big head here. Just look at just look at the background in, in the back of me, man. But anyway, like I say, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. How you doing, folks? As always, man, peace and love, peace and love. Just another day of me out here in the desert, walking around, get my exercise on. Today's video is going to be about um, why not marry a Filipino lady? As usual, folks, so while I'm talking, let's go ahead and get my walk on. You know, this is what I normally like to do. This is how I get my exercise in. Um, show you guys a little bit of where I'm at. You hear the guns in the background. People are practicing out here. It's another beautiful day out here in the valley. I love it. I should be out there shooting my guns too. I love doing that. There's a lot of ranges and stuff out in the desert where we like to go and shoot guns, you know? So he asked me, why marry a Filipino girl? I says, why not? You know, Filipino women are um, some of the best women that you can find around. Um, they're very loyal. They're very kind-hearted. Um, I know Grace is that type of woman. You know, she do look out for me. She take care of me. I, I really don't have any complaint. Um, no, she's not submissive. I don't like women who like to submit themselves too much to their husband, given too easily. I'm not that type of dude. I want to be challenged. You know, I, I don't like to know that I'm always getting my way. How you good morning, good morning. Morning. How you doing, ma'am? Good, how are you? All right, beautiful day. Yeah. It is a beautiful spot out there. It's really, really nice. But I'm gonna stop and sit here for a little bit. Let me spin around here. Make sure none of my creepy crawly friends is around. All right. I'm going to sit and take a rest for a little bit. 
Okay. Whew, I need a disc brake. I'll drink some water. When I first got with Grace, she always worried about, do you want to eat? Do you want me to make you something to eat? And, you know, I'm a kind of guy, I'm, I'm not really accustomed to that. You know, because, like I said, I'm, I'm very independent. You know, I like to get up, if I'm hungry, I like to get up and go in the kitchen and, and, and grab something for me. And it took me a while to really get accustomed to that. It's not something that I was really ever accustomed to, where, you know, you have a woman who just want to just do everything for you like that, that I normally do for myself. Washing clothes. You know, I love to wash my clothes. I'm very independent. I like to take my clothes, separate them, put them in the washer and draw, put them in the washer, take them out of the washer and put them in the dryer. I'm just that type of dude, you know? Um, and thing with her too, she had to take a while to really get accustomed to me being like that because it was hard for her not to just want to get up and, um, you know, jump in the kitchen and get me something to eat or get me something to drink or to get up and jump and want to wash the clothes and stuff like that. Because, you know, those stuff I've been doing for myself for years, you know, ever since I came to New York from the Caribbean, you know, I, I learned how to take my clothes and go to the laundry and do my own stuff. I learned how to get in the kitchen and, and cook my own food. And like I say, you know, I'm a West Indian dude. I love my West Indian food. So, you know, I like cooking my own stuff. And that's something that she she really don't know how to cook good is my my West Indian food. I love my banana. I love my dumpling. You know, I love my my um steamed fish. You know, I love my stew chicken. And she don't make it the way I like to make it. So, like I say, it was just a learning curve for her also too. Another thing I love about Grace is that you know she's the kind of woman she don't ever ask for anything. Really, never ask for anything. You know, if, if there is something that she really needs, when I first met her and she didn't have it, she wouldn't ask me for it. I would have to figure out what the problem is and um, make sure that I give her what she really needs to do what she needed to do, you know? So that's another thing I really like about her is that she don't look for anything from me. From me. As far as the household, what do we do in the household? Well, you know, I'm a man, and I always feel that if you can, as a man, you should always have to carry the heavy load in the house, whether it's the rent or the mortgage, you know, that's my responsibility there, you know? So um, that was really never an issue because I think, you know, Grace kind of grew up in that background too where, you know, if you're a guy, you tend to want to have to carry the heavy load of the household, you know, like a cable bill or phone bill or something like that yeah she can carry but as far as the mortgage or, or or rent or whatever it is you know i i carry that heavy load and, and that's something that i like to do you know um disagreement there's always a lot of misunderstanding between us two you know a lot of time grace have her way of saying certain things and you know i misunderstand what she's trying to say so, you know, if I misunderstood what she's saying, I would kind of take it as, you know, well, what are you trying to say? And she would have to explain to me what exactly she was talking about or what she meant. Because sometimes, if you don't know, Filipinos, sometimes they're very blunt. You know, they have this dry humor. They can just come out and say things, not really meaning anything about it. And that's another learning curve that, you know, I had to get to understand from her. How you doing, my friend? All right. All right, folks, I'm going to get up and head the rest of the way up here. Like I say, you know, if I have to do it again, I would do the same thing that I'm doing here with Grace. I wouldn't change any of this. You know, 
I'm a very happy man. Very content, you know, with what I have. Love the um love the route that we um we're on. Hopefully, you know, that road could stay always on the straight. You know, are we gonna hit some bumps in the road? Of course we're gonna hit some bumps in the road. You know, we do hit some some bumps in the road sometimes, but um it's how we work those things out. We know how to talk things out. You know, any relationship, you're going to have those problems. You know, our relationship is no different than any, any other relationship. But um, one thing that we do have that a lot of other relationships don't have is knowing how to communicate, knowing how to talk to each other, knowing how to work things out verbally, no physical I don't believe in that kind of bullshit. I don't think a man or a woman should ever put their hands on each other. That's something that um I, I I don't believe in at all. You know, like I said, I remember as a child growing up home, you know, I used to see those type of things a lot where, you know, you would have a lot of physical relationships, which I, I, I thought was the most ridiculous thing ever um anyone can see as a child growing up is to see how these male would dominate their female physically and sad part about it in return you would hear a lot of these women say things like back then i would hope women don't say that today that if the man don't hit him then the man really don't love him you know me as a child back then, I used to think that was the most dumbest and stupidest shit that I've ever heard in my life, you know, but that's how it was. I think a lot of these women growing up thinking that, you know, because their man hit them, that he loves them, you know, so these guys would get their paycheck, go out to the rum house, drink the shit off, have no money left to come home to buy food or to take care of the garden kids, or if they have a mistress, they would give part of that money to the mistress. So now they're coming home to their woman or their wives. And that woman is really mad because there is no money. No money to be had to buy any food or to pay, you know, what they owe. So what do these men lead to doing? Beating on the goddamn woman. To keep her in line and to shut her up. I always say that's a relationship. Those, I always say those kind of relationship, I don't ever want to get into or to be that kind of man. You know, we do have words. We got to learn how to use our words. We got to use our brain. We got to know how to communicate with each other and work things out. Are we going to see eye to eye all the time? Not really. But that's where compromise comes into a relationship. And I think with me and Grace, you know, that's something that we really have that I see a lot of other people in relationship really don't have. You know, people don't like to compromise. People don't want to give and take. It's either going to be their way or no, no one else's way. Which, in, that's a very sad thing. Not a good thing at all. It's beautiful around here, folks really is this is what i get to see let me just go ahead and spin this around so you guys can see all the mountains it's like i'm just down in this valley sitting here in this valley enjoying all these beautiful views this is lovely this is what we like to come out and enjoy out here in the desert you know we just don't have the casinos you know we do have a lot of things to really explore out here in the desert you know and just a little driving distance not too far away from where everybody lives in vegas you know, Vegas is really not a big place, you know. It, it is very small. All right. Let me go ahead and get out of this canyon here now. I'm always taking the long way, folks. Why? <laughs> I, I, I just don't know. So like I said, folks, you know, my relationship with Grace, man, is one of the best things that ever happened to me, folks.
you know. Um, I'm a lucky dude, man. I don't think I can ask for anybody better than her, you know. Like I says, you know, when you find you the right woman, man, you got to hold on tight, man. Can't let it go, you know. I found me the right woman, bro. So I decide to hold on really tight to that one. You know, one thing I know with Filipino ladies too, man, when you got the right one is that they don't walk away from you, man. They stay with you. You know, you get old, they don't dump your nursing home like you find most, um, you know, <laughs> women do out here, man. They, they try to keep you home and take care of you for as long as they can, you know? So, like I say, you know, I lucked out. And I'm going to hold on. So for folks who want to know why marry a Filipino, that's the reason why I marry a Filipino and the right Filipino woman too. Not just any Filipino woman, the right one. And hopefully you guys enjoying this video that I put out today. And as usual, man, it's always peace and love with me, man. Peace and love. And I want, I want to thank all you guys for watching my last couple of videos. You know, I was very surprised at the amount of views that I got on each one of those videos. It's just kind of let me know the things that I'm putting out. People are kind of really interested in watching it. But then again, don't forget, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Peace and love.